cheese or something. Hi everyone! This is our Krona Regalia cab that we picked up. Um, I've already opened it up and we had to pull a kit out of it and I already put a um, I put one of our spare awls in there. Um, it's not going to do anything because awls is you know, it doesn't, doesn't run but it's the original hardware for it so I just wanted to fire this up kind of unwrap it take a look and um, go over this cab. So we've got it on. I'm going to rip off all the plastic here and we'll take a look inside the front and inside the back where the I.O. board is. So Chrono Regalia is probably a dead game at this point or very close to it but um, the cabinet that it uses is Sega's new generic cab. Um, before it was the cab that um, Project Diva Future Tone, uh, Border Break, Chrono Cro or it's called Chrono Shining Force. Oh my God! Um, those games um, were running in that. Um, so this is their new version of that cabinet. So this eventually could be converted, say, to a PRAS three or other stuff. I actually have the. Um, on order all the parts for a soul reverse. Um, good chance we're never going to get those games running, but you know they're available and these, these cabinets were designed to convert into to and from any of those. Uh, so let's get this art unwrapped. Good enough. And we've got this front piece here. Which, uh, I'll unwrap this and take a look at it. believe that just goes up here in the middle so or actually it goes right there so that's just the topper but uh yeah here's the cab this uh this game is touchscreen only so the panel itself is just blank there's nothing there um but this top part is easily replaceable and um we just take it off put a new one on replace the art and we're good to go I'm going to open this up so we can look inside. I believe it all comes with the connectors and everything that I'll need to hook up another harness or the, or the fin will come with it. Not sure, but we've got our assortment of connectors over here for whatever you switch it out to be. Got a, uh, is that a USB port? Yeah, that's a USB charge port here on the front. Um, headphone jack and everything inside. Anyway, pretty cool. Close that up. We'll look inside. Um, the other key? Pretty much just space for an awls, which it's a very large PCB. Um, so it's just a uh, basically the space is just for that. Um, and we'll look at the back where all the I/O board and interesting stuff is, and I'll point out the. Um, the new USB I.O. That's actually JVS slash USB I.O. that uh, Sega is using. So here's the backboard for these tabs. Um, all this stuff would be used in pretty much any other game that goes in this cabinet. Um, you've got here, this is, is anyone familiar with hardware, it looks very much like the old um, JVS IOs, except it has this extra set of headers along the top and this for USB so that this is also a, a USB IO. Um, so not sure what else you can really do with that, but um, that's what they're using now and uh, we've been starting to collect a couple of those just in case we need to run anything. Um, I think that's about it for this cabinet. Um, I might do a little rework or mess around with it a little bit more. I'm going to be bringing these home and have them in our house as a Hall's testing platform if we ever need it. Um, if I find it, I'll also link, there's a video on YouTube of a uh, Japanese operator 
doing a full conversion of one of these cabinets and really going over details about them. Um, they're really neat and, oops, did I trip the power? Yeah. But uh, yeah, these are what Sega is going to be using probably for the next five years as their generic cabinet. So really cool that we could get one that's, oh yeah, that's right, forgot to mention, these are actually touchscreen as well. I, I don't I mentioned that, but yeah, no, it has a nice touchscreen on it. So uh, I think it's really versatile what you can actually do with this. Um, yeah, at any rate, this is what Sega's gonna be using for a long time. Really cool to get one this early. Um, and we'll be posting more information, see what we uh, end up doing with this. We'll see you in the next cab opening.